Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHunt.com and I'm their first impressions gameplay video for Aeon, a 3D fantasy MMORPG published by NCSoft. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments if you guys want to play Aeon or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on the link below. So let's want to get started right now guys, the game is actually a free trial MMORPG, meaning that the game is not free to play, however it does have a free trial of the game which lasts about 7 days. The free trial is fairly unrestrictive, you can play the game, pretty much do whatever you want, the maximum level though is level 20 for the free trial and again it's only 10 days long there's a long user agreement over here if you ever actually want to read it but nobody actually does that so let's click accept over there and go and click on the server over here we're going to play on the west server over here i want to create a character really quick to make sure i can actually record aeon without lagging whoa i'm gonna click cancel over there we can see the two playable factions in the game the asmodians and the elios and the game has some really top-notch graphics which is why i made sure i can actually record the game with fraps without lagging so hopefully it should work correctly over here we got the elios or the sun blighted invested blah 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 lower half of atria and the asmodians the game wants to play Asmodians right now because apparently there's less Asmodians on the server so I think if you do so you get a bonus in the game so let's go play the Asmodians for now and click OK. Now Aeon is also a game I never really played before because it was one of those games that it, it launched well after World of Warcraft and World of Warcraft is really the last like pay to play game I actually played and I played a lot. This game launched after that and uh, the game did it was a pay to play game so I never actually played it and it never had a free trial up until May 26, 2011. So the game took a you know it took its sweet time in launching a free trial so I guess they tried selling as many copies of the game as they can and then they finally launched for free trial which is now though they actually had a free trial before but the way the free trial worked was you know you had to get an invite code or some shenanigans like that so our playable characters include warrior male and female we got scout mage and priest there's actually four playable characters over here i do believe there's specializations later on but we'll look at that later and i kind of want to play a mage he looks so badass over here with that pro robe but i, I can bet though you're not going to start with that pro ro robe when you actually pick your character we can see this character over here too and i can't imagine starting with this really cool looking armor either look at that sword it looks that's not really a sword it's an axe you see there's stats over here as well i'm gonna play a mage this time guys let's see what's up over here get some glowy stuff going on him and click next don't want to spend too much time on the character creator over here but i do have to mention the game i think it's nice character creation i have seen youtube videos for the game before there's a nice advanced tab over here if you want to make your own uh, own stuff over here and there are so many of these little things to play with you know your eye angle over there let's go back to basic for now you can choose your face options as well and this kind of is like wow this guy looks really angry and really funky hair but you can play with these if you want to wow that looks really freaky look at this guy he's jacked but he's got this like face of a three-year-old who that looks disgustingly weird but let's see what else we got oh yeah look at that guy he is he's happy and good to go <laughs> i'm not sure why the character creation options are so funny like why would you ever use that face it's so silly I mean, the, all these faces are really silly, if, well, at least you have a large body. We can use uh, a lean body, it looks a bit more normal. Maybe if you want to use a beefy body, that is awesome. Look how cool my guy looks right there. If you want, you can use a lanky body, you got childlike body. So, <clears throat> if you do want to play a lolly character, you can if you're a female character, which we should do. <coughs> Coughing over there, we should do, but I'm not going to for now. But I'm going to choose, oh, look how awesome my guy looks right now. But I'm not going to go with childlike, I'm going to go with uh, muscular body over there for more stats. So I don't think it actually affects your stats, just how you look. I'm going to go with a lean body over there, and we can scroll through, <coughs> not sure why I keep coughing over there, but let's see, bandana over there, I'm going to go with, uh, there's basically a lot of options over here, you can choose different hairstyles as well, I'm going to run with this guy for now, but there's so much you can play with over here, I mean, you can make your character look exactly the way you want, I mean, there really aren't that many free-to-play games with really top-notch appearance customization, and this is one of them, so you can see your gear over here too if you want to change that, I'm going to go with the funky looking awesome clothes over there, and let's see, my name will be Remote over there. Hopefully it is available and we click create and there we go. Good to go. And the game already took away my awesome red robe. What's the point of selecting that robe on that, that screen over there if it just goes away when you create your character? It makes no sense, but you know what guys, I was kind of expecting that anyway. And I get the pin number over here, which I'm going to use real quick and then I will resume recording. And there we go, just enter that in, guys. There's a tip over here, teleporting is more expensive in the Abyss. The Abyss in the game is actually the PvP zone for Aeon. You guys don't have to worry about that too much. There's a cutscene going on right now, and the cutscene is a tad bit laggy, but you can watch it right now if you want to. It kind of introduces the game story to you and your character and stuff like that. But for now, I'm going to skip it because we want to see some actual gameplay. But the game is somewhat story-driven. Being that the game is a pay-to-play MMORPG, there is some emphasis on story. It's a Korean MMORPG, though, though, so I'm not really sure how big Koreans are on stories. I know, like, when you think of a, a good story in a game, you think of maybe Final Fantasy or some of the Japanese RPGs. Some Western RPGs as well, you know, games from Bioware. But I, I can't really think of a good uh, Korean game with a really good story. Maybe it's not coming to me right now, but I'm going to click Escape for now. 
and here we are we are in our beginner zone over here you can see right away the game's graphics are really top notch i mean one aspect of uh, aeon which kind of sets itself apart it's got the whole fantasy theme which is very common amongst mrpgs now is the is the game's graphics i mean it, i mean aside from maybe terra online which is not even out yet this is really one of the best looking games out there you can see how cool my character's face looks over there <laughs> i definitely could have created a more awesome looking character i went with one of the default ones over here we click our c over there nope c does not bring up your character creation character screen over there let's go talk to urgan raider asak over here now we're not gonna get to see too much of the game because again i'm pretty sure i'm in the tutorial zone right now if i click m over here my world map and it's all foggy right now but you can see all sorts of zones over here let's go talk to this guy he knows what's up we're gonna go talk to him is there something I needed? And level 1 quest on my feet over here. The game's max level, if I read correctly before, was around 55. And we'll accept over there too. And on your feet over here. Let's go do that quest. This guy looks like a little kid over there. And where do we go? We can see on our radar down over here, Vendor. We're going to go talk to that dude. And we get to talk to that guy for our first quest. And whoa, you can jump and do backflips. That is awesome. They copied that straight from Night Elves from World of Warcraft. But the thing is, guys, you don't get flips every time. So if you... The pro thing to do in a game like... Wait, where do I have to go right now? This guy over here. I almost missed him over there. I think I got to talk to that guy again. Ye nope, maybe down there. Where am I going, guys? Where am I? Meet Vandor. You are you are Vandor. Let's go talk to you again. I'm not sure why I left you last time. I was too busy doing some flips in there. That guy wants to party me? Uh, no, I'm not going to join his lame guild. It's not a party. It's a guild invite. No, bro. I'm not joining you. Wouldn't do this. these two quests over here. It won't happen again. And click OK over there. Now, movement-wise, you do with WSAD. I, you know, that's pretty obvious, too. Grab both of those quests right now. We got to kill some stuff right now. Consider it done. I got to kill some old Gorn Raiders, which, uh, let's see. These are Sprig Workers. And these are more Sprig Workers. So I guess these guys might be the Raiders. And might as well try it. So we got a few skills right now. We got Flame Bolt and Root. So let's see. I'm going to Root them and then Flame Bolt them like a boss. So there we go. The spell animations look kind of cool. You can hear, like, casting stuff. So I cast them the wrong spell. I want to do Root. I'll do that next, I guess. So we kill this guy in two shots. Pretty easy. So yeah, those guys are apparently Ulgorn Raiders. I'm not sure why they're called Sprigs. So let's go kill a few more of these guys for a quest. We're going to do number three. And then, what bam It's an instant cast. And I'm going to shoot him again. And is he going to be like stuck? Nope. After you shoot him, your root goes away. So I guess you got to shoot your nuke and then you got to root them. But it doesn't matter. These guys do that pretty fast. Three hits. I mean, that's really easy. So there you go. Got two of them down already. Got to kill four for the first quest over here. And I'm pretty sure this area I'm in right now, it just looks and feels like a newbie zone. I mean... If we bring up our map over here, it's like in its own area. Yeah, it is like in its own like newbie island over here. So it's like kind of like separated from the rest of the world. Alt guard over there sounds pretty cool, but I can't go there right now. I gotta do some newbie stuff over here. The max level in the free trial is level 20 though. So all this beginner stuff is worth doing because I guess you're gonna learn the game anyway. Tells you how much experience you get over here too. But one, one little gripe I had about Anne, like even before the game even launched, was that the game is a fantasy themed game. I mean, there's nothing wrong with fantasy, but I feel like there's so many fantasy MRPGs out there. And if you really want to try something different, I mean, it's just fantasy is. It's good, but I feel like it's been done so many times now. There's a guard over there chasing these guys. Kill a few more of these dudes. One more of these quests, and I am done and good to go. The beginner area does seem really big, though. I mean, we'll see how it is when I start exploring, though. And, oh, when you level up, you got these little wings behind you. That looks kind of funky. I think the game it's came out in uh, South Korea back in like 2008, late 2008, and came out in North America a year or so later, so that's 2009. And since the game launched, I think it's already enjoyed one major expansion pack and tons of little you know, content updates. I think all the expansion packs were free though, because I don't remember hearing about it, you know, an expansion pack you had to buy. So do this quest, I've slain the sprigs, and you get XP for doing these. Barely any, that's kind of lame. I got like 140 every time I killed one. And for doing the quest, I got 180. I guess one of the newbie quests you'll get more later, yeah, 590 over there already. And I'll go now. We gotta go talk to Meet Volner Boss Guhiton, whatever his name is. And he's down over here. Everything is nicely, you know, marked on your map over here. Interface is definitely really sleek and easy to use over here. And the gameplay just feels very responsive and crisp, which is actually really good. But uh, <clears throat> game moving the space bar as well. Flips though are kind of hard to do. There you go. I got one flip. Nope. I gotta get the two flips in a row. I haven't gotten two yet. I feel like flipping is like it's like less than 50%. I'm not sure what it was in WoW, but let's see what I can get. If you get three flips in a row, you're a boss. There's one, guys. There's one. There's two. Waiting for number three. <sighs> Didn't make it number three. And it's actually always fun to do. Little things like that keep me occupied when I'm playing MMORPGs. And when you can't jump in an MMORPG, it makes me furious because, I mean, you gotta jump when you're, like, going somewhere because it keeps you busy. Can I draw on the map? No, I can't draw on the map. I tried to do that because you can in uh, NCSoft's other game, Guild Wars, which I think, aside from Guild Wars and uh, Lineage and Lineage 2, Lineage 2 wasn't really that popular in North America. The game did quite well in uh, South Korea and Asia, though, as did Lineage 1, but neither game did really, you know, particularly well in, uh, in North America. So it's, aside from maybe Guild Wars in this game, NCSoft hasn't had much luck with MMORPGs in North America. <clears throat> We're gonna go down over there and go talk to Gil Turn over there. And, yeah, Gilton's tent. He's got his own zone, guy. This guy's a boss. He's got his own zone. His tent zone. So let's go talk to this guy. And there's some voice acting in the game. Not much, like, hello or something when you talk to them. And many sprigs have been killed. And by many, I mean four. Apparently four is many in this game. 
Click OK over there. Right now, though, I'm getting a vibe from the game that's very, like, generic to other fancy MMORPGs. I mean, it does have the higher quality. I mean, when you move, it's very responsive. And graphically speaking, it looks phenomenal. I mean, off the top of my head, I really can't think of other, any other, like, MMORPGs that look as good as this. I mean, Terra Online, I've seen videos for that. But that's also pay to play, and it's not even out yet. I'll kill that guy. Maybe Vindictus, but that's like an action MMORPG. But even... I'm, I'm not even sure which game has better graphics action right now. Get that quest over there. What's your point, bro? What is your point? And of course, the game's English translations of it are actually spot on. I've read a few of these sentences already. Being that the game is pay to play, it's got a slightly higher degree of quality in terms of localization. I have noticed, I mean, obviously a lot of free to play games aren't all bad. I mean, Nexon's uh, Vindictus has some solid localization, and Perfect Worlds games are pretty decent as well. But some games out of nowhere have really awful translations. I mean, a lot of Chinese games, especially, and Korean games, when they get translated over to English, it just comes really low quality for some reason. I gotta kill some sprig fruits over there? What is some sprig fruits? Can I click on that quest or something? How do I find out what it does? Click L to bring up our quest journal. Nope, L is not quest journal. What is. What is our quest journal right now? It's usually L. We can try clicking uh, M is our map, N is our... Oh, we got a little radar on our screen right now. And we got B. Nope, I don't have any power shards, guys. No power shards for me. I got my friends list over there. <clears throat> and in terms of class in the game, you had those four playable classes. But I think later on you get to get, you get to choose between two other classes. Not sure what level that was, but there is job advancers in the game. I think it's only one set of job advancements, though. So in terms of class variety, there isn't that much variety. I'm pretty sure both factions play as the, as the, same, uh, as the same four classes. So we're going to go kill Bucktooth Snuffer this time. Snuffler, my bad, not Snuffer. And I'm going to do number two, and then I'm going to do my awesome root skill over here, guys. Do my awesome root. And wha-bam, and my root did not work. That's kind of lame. Oh, well, I was killing like two shots anyway. So it's really easy right now, but these guys are really, you know, really new monsters. When my guy's kind of like readying his, his weapon, look at him. His eyes are glowing, and he's got his, like, his hands moving around. So we're going to go, I guess, what do I have to kill right now? I'm kind of ditching those quests right now, but we're going to go We're gonna go exploring a little bit, guys. going to explore a tad bit. Before my time runs out over here, we can see the interface stuff over here too. Toggle flight and landing. I can't do any flying right now, but if you've seen any trailer for Aeon, I mean, the game really highlights its flying mounts and like flying all over the world, which looks really cool, but I'm not sure if that's available in every zone in the game because I know WoW doesn't have like, you know, free flying in the game. You can't fly around in this zone right now, but I guess that might be because it's a newbie zone. Influence ratio, which I guess price is 96%. I guess one faction controls the stuff over here. But all the faction and PvP stuff in the game, you really won't get a chance to experience because all of that is well above level 20. The level cap is 55, so just you know place yourself somewhere in between there. But the trial will give you a good idea of what the game is all about. And it's a game that I've really been curious about for a while because I never had a chance to play it because again, it has had a free trial up until May 26th. So oh, I am uh, order of the captain over there. I got a quest over there. Locate that quest. I'll go ahead and locate that. So I guess all the quests have a nice little locate button. It tells you exactly where they are. The quest interface is nice. This is something every game should have. Finding quests is always awesomely easy over here. I'm gonna go find that dude over there. And he is over there. Ulgorn. He's got a nice little sun over his head. Not sure why. And he's got an eye patch. You know he's a boss if he has an eye patch. Anyone with an eye patch is instant boss level. Let's go talk to this dude right now. And what has he got going on for me? Blood for blood question mark. I got 10 XP with a lane quest. He's the boss around here, guys. So you can see what quests are available to you as well. So you can see I campaign quests and regular quests. And I think the way that works is campaign quests are like story driven. So, I mean, why else would they have like two different tabs for them? Not sure. And we got work order quests. I guess these are quests I have in progress right now or something. Close that shenanigans down. I'm gonna do Thinking Ahead, guys. Where is Thinking Ahead? Talk with Boromir. He's like Boromir, but just Boromir. So I've been invited to straight out of Altigar Legion. Legions, I guess, are the game's, uh, game's guild system. Not sure what that flying thing was. Could be a, is that a mount or something? I don't know. But we can see uh, straight out of, no, I'm not going to accept your lame guild over there. I'm going to talk to this guy. He's pretty chill, just hanging out on this hill over here. What is he up to? Mission 3, level 3 mission, progress, thinking ahead, guys. What should I do? Won't sp whoa, what is going on? So I guess it's a story quest in the game on this show. There you go. There's some voice acting in the game, too. So the I guess like the special quests in the game have voice acting. And apparently story driven, too, because it's got like its own tab for it. You got to kill that a-hole over there. That little guy guarding those sacks. So yep, let's uh, check the dens around the Turnpicky Lake for their grain sacks. Got to collect some grain sacks for the win, as you wish. So close over there. Let's see what we got going on in the quest. I mean, can I see my skills right now? I only have a handful of them right now. Level 2 Flame Bolt. It's not level 1. I think it was level 1 when I first started. So your skills kind of level up with you as you play. I mean, it might. And this Chain Skill level 1. Not sure what Chain Skills are right now. We can see our passive skills. There's crafting skills in the game as well. I think 5 or 6 of them. Like weapon crafting, armor crafting. All that good jazz. Oh, look how peaceful that tree over there looks. Looks kind of cool. We can see in my emotes. These are the best parts about the game, guys. We're going to go look at my awesome camera over here. We're going to go to sleep, guys. We're going to start... Mm. Oh, oh, oh. He's flying as he sleeps. He's like flying a cloud. So there's a whole bunch of emotes if you want to play with these. And one thing I've noticed is a lot of games don't have very many emotes over here. These emoticon thingamajigs. And the way I look at it is that these are like really easy to program, I guess, because you just do it once. And it's a lot of fun, too, if you're bored, you know, sitting in town and play around with these. It's kind of cool. 
And you can do, uh, you can do sit over here. We can do drink. And you want to play with these? Where's dance? Everyone has a dance. There you go. I guess these are different based on what, uh, what, uh, you know, what race you, what race you play, and you know, what faction you play, and what class you play. What, what class you play. This is my awesome dancer over there. He's kind of swinging his arms around. And you got these tutorial stuff too, which I'm gonna do not show these. Do not show these from now on because I'm a boss. Close that stuff out right now. Let's go kill a few more things over here. I gotta get these sprayed grains over here. Not sure where those are right now, but they were around this lake area apparently. And the graphics on this lake area look quite nice. And I'm actually not even playing the game on maxed out graphics. I mean, I turned this stuff down to high instead of like uber high. But it is running at 1920 by 1080. And let's see what we can do. We can like move sideways too. If you click Q or E, you can like strafe, which looks kind of cool. And where are these grain sacks? You can gather this EFSA, whatever that is. Let's go get one of these bad boys. And let's go. Yeah, I'm collecting that stuff right now. And we can see our menu over there. I'm not sure how the game's skills or talents work right now because I haven't seen a tab for it yet. But uh, I suspect there is some sort of, you know, so at least some sort of talent tree in the game. And I'm going to fail at picking these plants, guys. I'm going to fail. Oh, oh, never mind. Just finished it then. Go me. But I, I'm gonna call it for now, guys. It's uh, you really, I really can't really fully explain the game to you in the like 15 minute time limit over here. But anyway, guys, if you guys do want to play uh, Aeon or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on mwat.com on the link below. Anyway, guys, later.